as we were um, negotiating with him, our tactical uh, officers were able to get into position where they were very close to him. They were watching him via camera, uh, and they were close enough to hear uh, what he was saying and see what he was doing uh, on a camera. At one point, um, the uh, uh, suspect uh, it is uh, reported that uh, he pulled out uh, the handgun that he came in with um, and pointed it uh, at one of the hostages. Uh, we, it's unconfirmed now whether he actually fired the weapon or not, um, but at that point, um, our tactical units uh, moved in. Um, they uh, shot the suspect. Uh, the suspect is deceased. Um, the hostages uh, were uh, all safely uh, were able to safely get out of the building, and uh, at this point, um, we still have uh, what we believe are, are, are four devices, uh, that, or two boxes, two backpacks, that uh, we have to uh, de um, determine whether they are explosive devices and, uh, and get them safely removed. So the building is, um, uh, is still uh, a crime scene. Uh, we still have work to do. Uh, but at, as, uh, as I said before, um, uh, to our knowledge, uh, no one uh, aside from the suspect uh, has been injured and the hostages were able to get out safely. I don't want to characterize really the motivations of uh, the perpetrator. Um, if you follow what he said publicly online, I don't think it's rational. Um, and we certainly were cognizant and aware of him but do not take his threats or demands uh, seriously.